YouTube, how's it going? Nick Novak back for another video on the HSR. Um, got a few things in store today, but first, um, for everyone who watched my video yesterday, I told you I was thinking about possibly getting three new calves, which I ended up getting last night. So I'll give you guys um, a little tour of them. They're about six weeks old. There's two heifers and one bull. That's the bull calf, the red white face, and then these two blacks are heifers. They're still a little jumpy. Um, but what I'm gonna do is fix up that pen outside, and I'm gonna put them out there where those other ones were at. But I wanna get it back to where it's the way I want it, if that makes sense. Um, so kind of what my idea is, is I'm leaving this pin, I mean this panel here, and I'm gonna leave this feeder there as well. Those caps should be able to reach it. And so what I'm gonna do is just get a, a panel like this and just put it across the top so they can't jump over into this pin over here. Um, and then over here, I took down this big panel. I think what I'm gonna do is cut it, cut this one a little bit and have a gate, a walkthrough gate right there. I think that's what's gonna benefit me the best so it's easier to walk in and out I wanted it right here to make it easier for me, but I think when I'm trying to get calves in and out, it'll be easier to get them in a corner and run through. So that's what I'm gonna do. So put you guys um, on here and let you guys uh, come along with me as we do it. So uh, stay tuned. So my plan is to wire this gate up against this wood post up in the air so it will swing back and forth. And then I'll figure out where I need to put the T-post at to hold it right in here, and then I'll cut this um, panel. right there. Okay, so panel there, feed bunk. I still need to go across the top there, but we just got that panel in. My gate. Walk in, close it, wrap the wire. Boom, that should work pretty good. Now, I need to tackle this over here. Um, I took the gate because I wanted to get, oh, sorry, you guys were up in the sky. So I moved this gate to where those two wean calves are at in the trees. That's where that gate originally was at. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm not even gonna put a gate here. I'm gonna grab that big panel that I had um, where I just took that out of and lay that set that in here and I'll just wire it up and if I have to 
move them out of here, then I will. I'll just unscrew that uh, wire and just do it that way. So we'll run over there and grab that and put her up. Boom, that should hold them. So what I like about this little pin, which I just built it when I first got these bottle caps, the very first set I got, is I did have it a lot bigger, but then it doesn't give them as much incentive to kind of stay around the feed bunk, keep eating hay, alfalfa, grain. And so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm literally just, which it's pretty big size pin, you know, it goes up there to that corner and across. And so they have room. They got their windbreak here. They're gonna have their feed bunk. I'm gonna put a, their water probably right here. And then we'll put this tote back in the corner. And, uh, and they should be set up. I, I probably won't take them back in the barn. It's The weather's been super good. It's only been getting down to about 35-ish at night, which is pretty warm um, for this time of year, so. Anyways, what we're going to do is I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. It's kind of leaning a little bit. I probably need to get another T-post in here, but I'll just keep doing things the hard way. <laughs> Anyways, I got the panel right there. Um, just enough to where it's high enough. I don't think they'll, they'll want to jump over it, but uh, low enough to where I can still reach over it and put the grain in there. So what I'm going to do now is move this tote. I had just washed it out a couple days ago. Put it back in the corner. And then we'll go ahead and tag those calves and uh, bring them out here and let them free. So we got the tote there for them for at night and I put it there for a reason because you know I've always been putting this purple tote in there during the day so they can't get in it during the day and pee and poop and no reason for them to be in there they can be outside it's been nice and so kind of make it easier access for me to not have to climb in every time I'll just pull that tote in and out leave it on the outside of the fence over there set it in and whatnot but I'm going to have to get a new tote from inside for that because my plan is to put water here, put their alfalfa right there, and I'm going to try to build me a little hay feeder to put right here in the middle. But for now, I'll just keep putting in a tote, but I'm going to try to get me a, a hay feeder for somewhere right there in the middle. Um, kind of the reasoning is last time I had the feeder, all the feeders and the grain and everything right there by the chemical tote, but that's where they always peed and pooped at, and so... There was a lot of flies and stuff right when it started getting warm and try to stay away from that as much as possible. But uh, anyways, what we'll do now is go grab the the um, tags, get them tagged. I have been usually just been doing random numbers just because it's kind of funny when my wife gets home and she sees 17 and she's like, why'd you think of that? And I was like, I don't know. First number that popped in my head. But uh this time, sorry, there's a semi that came through and made hit a bump or something and made a big noise. Um, but anyways, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do now is that black heifer's 32. 
So these other two black heifers, I'm just gonna make them 33 and 34. And that number, and that bull calf, he's 17. So this other bull, I'll just make him 18. Make it a little easier on us. But uh, yeah, we'll run over there and tag them. Take you guys along as we put them in their new pen. See if they can adjust to it. And so uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you're still watching, uh, we'll get back to her. I always write on the front and back because sometimes when they're backwards from you, you can't see their number and it's a pain to get them to look at you. So I've been started writing it on front and back and it's came in handy with my big herd. And so it's been doing it with everybody. My wife just pulled up. All right, y'all, so we got the bottle calves in their pen. We only had one run out on us, but we got her, got him caught, that red one. But uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.